Hi everyone, welcome to the Community Classroom. This is Dr. Tracy McCarthy, psychologist, attorney, and educator, and we are continuing our discussion on genetic anomalies related to men presumed to be of African descent. And we are going to expand our discussion to include men who originate from the Caribbean. And the issue we're going to be looking at is the issue of prostate cancer. Now, cancer is theoretically understood as having genetic, environmental, and behavioral aspects to its development and its proliferation. And because African-American males have been considered the uh, group of males who have one of the highest rates of prostate cancer in the world, there has been a presumption that given the difference in the rate of prostate cancer for European American males, the assumption has been that the reason for this has to do with this presumed West African heritage. The rate of prostate cancer is also exceedingly high among certain groups of Caribbean men. And we're going to look at the contrast between these rates of prostate cancer between certain Caribbean men and African American men and West African men from whom these men are presumed to have descended. Now, according to NIH researchers, African American men have among the highest prostate cancer incidents in the world. And there, however, is some concern about the lack of clarity regarding the African counterparts of African American males. Now, regardless of the reasons provided, what is notable is that the rates among Africans in East Africa, those rates are higher than the rates of those in West Africa. In fact, the rates of West Africans uh, were noted as considerably lower than those observed among African American males. Now, the explanation offered for this is this assumption that the rates are related to limitations in medical care access and screening and uh, westernization, but there is also the notation that the differences are perhaps related to genetic diversity. Now these numbers are very interesting and what the researchers have found is that among the African countries when you're looking from east to west that the uh, incidence of cancer, prostate cancer, it varies significantly based upon region and oddly Given this purported genetic heritage coming out of West Africa related to the slave trade narrative, the highest rate is in East Africa and it's intermediate in South Africa and strangely lowest in West Africa. And when you look at the rates of prostate cancer among indigenous brown Americans, what has been found is that the rates are 40 times those of Africans on the continent. Now, not only do African Americans, uh, American Black, Indigenous Black Americans, Native Black Americans, not only does that group have a higher rate of prostate cancer, a substantially higher rate of prostate cancer than West Africans, so do their cousins in Barbados in the Americas. And so you'll see here that the prostate cancer trends in Barbados indicate an unusually high burden of prostate cancer. And this is in contrast to, again, the West African groups from which uh, individuals from Barbados are presumed to have been descended from. 
Notably, the UK has also noted differences in terms of prevalence between Black Caribbean groups and Black African groups, with Black Caribbean groups having a substantially higher rate of prostate cancer in various locations in the UK. Now, while the research from the UK did not delineate which Caribbean groups had these high rates of prostate cancer, it's been noted that men of Jamaican descent have the highest rates uh, in the Caribbean and perhaps in the world. Notably, there is very little research on the incidence of prostate cancer in men of Haitian descent. And this could be because the rates of prostate cancer for Haitian men, that rate may mimic the rates and the prevalence that might be seen in West Africa. And so there may be some difference between the genetic dynamics for Haitian individuals and individuals from other Caribbean islands. And so it will be interesting to look at the rates of prostate cancer between Dominican men and Haitian men because Dominican men are also underrepresented in the literature on prostate cancer in contrast to the findings related to Barbados, Jamaica, and African American men. And notably, this particular author is basically saying that you really need to be careful about making these assumptions based on skin color and these assumptions about West African heritage explaining these higher than average rates of prostate cancer for African American men and Jamaican men and you can include in that men from Barbados. One of the things that these findings suggest is that individual researchers and historians need to take another look at some of the assumptions that they are making regarding African American, indigenous Black American, native Black American, Indian, Jamaican, uh, Haitian, all of those different heritages, they need to look more closely at the groups individually without making assumptions about their heritage in doing the research. Clearly, when looking at this genetic diversity, there is the indication that these assumptions about this purely West African and Central West African heritage for uh, brown men in the Americas, and I'm including not only mainland America, but also the islands, South America, Central America. Because clearly what is being noted is that there are similarities between the groups in the Americas that are not shared with their West African counterparts even given this traditional narrative that that's exactly where these individual men came from. And the men on the screen are provided to show that even though there, there is a variety of uh, males across the planet that have the same skin color, not all of those males, however, come from the exact same background. The fact that the cancer rates in terms of prostate cancer are higher for East African men versus West African men is significant given the assumptions about heritage. Although people are pretty comfortable with the narrative Related to the transatlantic slave trade, individuals who are doing projects trying to understand more about their heritage and even thinking about issues such as reparations, those individuals are going to have to, in many instances, look a little closer to home in terms of understanding what their true heritage might be. 
Remember, knowledge is power. Take care and see you soon.